Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today in front of you is going to be a review of the new Oceanica Thresher Super Compressor Style Dive Watch. This is a watch that is going live on Kickstarter Thursday, March 10th, around midday, around 10, 11 in the morning. Uh, that would be Eastern Time USA, depending on what time you're in. This is the box that's going to come in. It's a custom wood box with the Oceanica logo inside. It does come on a pad. Oops, as you can see. <laughs> Inside it does come on a pad. You get your two year, uh, one year warranty card. As you can see here, one year warranty comes on this pad. Uh, the typical box from Oceanica, it's pretty useful. Uh, you can store a bunch of stuff in here. Just slides in and out, just like that. And let's get into the watch. Before doing so on my wrist today is the Casio G-Shock. This is the Casio, the clear model. I bought this one about a year ago. And uh, I've been wearing it every now and then, but I'm definitely gonna start wearing it a lot more. Uh, it's a very cool watch. It's clear. Obviously, it's going to start yellowing over time. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a great looking watch. The Casio Clear model. Now, the Oceanica Thresher will come in two different colors. This is the black dial. This is the blue dial, as you can see. Um, very nice dials, as you can see, getting a little closer. Uh, the black dial version has those nice kind of horizontal um, lines going up and down, kind of like the deck of a ship, as you can see there. Uh, we have Thresher printed in red above the 6 o'clock position of Oceanica Applied uh, with their original shark logo, which is really cool. And obviously this is a dual crown watch, you have an inner rotating bezel, and then of course you have the other crown to set your time. Uh, going over to the blue version, as you can see here, we get the same exact layout, except it's in a nice blue color. You get Thresher at the 6 o'clock position, 200 meters, and Oceanica logo applied at the 12. Now it is a very unique design as you can see. There are going to be some changes on this watch. First of all, the bracelet is not going to have polished center links. It's going to have brushed center links. And the polishing is actually going to be on the outer portion of the links over here. That's one change. Um, also the loom is going to be different. These are only prototypes, so keep that in mind. The final production models are going to have brushed center links on the bracelet. And it's also going to have different loom. Uh, the loom is not applied on these models as they will be on the final production models. Um, on the final production models, the loom, you're going to have BGW9 mixed with C3, C3 on the rotating bezel, BGW9 on the hands, and the applied indices. Just keep that in mind. Also, the case back is going to be different on the final production models as well. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, the watch is housed in a solid 316L stainless steel case. A lot of interesting cuts and finishes, as you can see here. Heading to the side of the case, you can see very nice uh, spiral brushed crowns on the ends. You get polishing over here going along the lugs, along the case as well. Both of these crowns are screwed down, uh, which is very nice. Very interesting case design. Only about 12 millimeters thick, including the sapphire crystal, which is really nice. Um, heading to the other side of the case, it's nicely brushed, as you can see here and you do get that chamfered polishing going along the top portion of the case. Now if we take a closer look at the actual bezel, it's matte finished over here, and then a little bit of polishing over here, and the rest is brushed on each side as you can see. So really, really interesting finishing on this watch here. The dial is a matte blue, as you can see with that nice horizontal lines going up and down. Obviously it's a dive watch. This watch is 200 meters water resistant. We get a genuine sapphire crystal, inner anti-reflective coating. Um, so very legible, of course. We get applied indices going around. You have an inner rotating loomed bezel date cut out over at the 3 o'clock position. You do get solid unlinks, of course, as well. Now the bracelet on this watch is an oyster-style bracelet. Now this is the clasp that's going to be used on the final production models. Uh, originally they went with a different clasp, but this is the actual clasp they're going to be using due to cost control and production issues. Not production issues, but there's a certain amount you have to produce for, you know, to produce it clasp. It's a standard clasp, three micro adjustments. This is going to be brushed, not polished. This is going to be signed with the logo as well. The bracelet is pretty nice. Scissor clasp, as you can see, everything is milled out here. Uh, three micro adjustments. Uh, the case back, I'm just going to show you a little glimpse. That's what it's going to look like. It's screwed down in a spiral brush, of course, but it's going to be 3D molded. That shark is going to be polished and 3D, and it's going to be raised, as well as the thresher, which is really nice. Um, Dust State Oceanica Watch Co. Automatic Sapphire and 200 meters. Solid unlinks on the bracelet as well. Now the bracelet is 20 millimeters and it tapers down to 18 millimeters. So I think it's just the perfect size for this 40 millimeter case. Getting into sizes, it's a 40 millimeter case. Uh, 40.5 if you include this little lip here where you get the crown guards on each side. 
So it's a 40 millimeter case. Uh, 40 millimeters, 12 thick, 47 lug to lug, and 20 in between the lugs. Uh, very nice proportions, fits very nice on my wrist as well. Now getting into some basic pricing before we get a little more into the movement and such, the pricing on these watches is going to be about $245-$250, uh, which is a pretty good price. I believe the full retail will be about, um, I believe, $319.99, while these will go for on Kickstarter $250. So you're saving a lot of money on the Kickstarter. Kickstarter will go live March 10th, Thursday. And I believe there's an early bird with 245 uh, shipped. There's only 40 spots there's going to be for that. And then I believe it bumps to 254 or 255 shipped. So not much of a difference if you miss out on the early bird. I will drop a link in the description below so you can follow the pre-launch page. Um, that will basically, if you, you just, just click notify on launch, and then basically it'll notify your email when the project goes live you can grab one of these watches. Anyway, the movement inside of this watch is the NH35. It's a great it's a great movement. It's been used in a lot of micro brand watches. Um, has 24 joules, hand winding, hacking, beats at three hertz, 21,600 beats per hour. Um, pretty accurate, as you can see, you get that three hertz sweep on the seconds hand, which is loomed. Uh, just very nice, uh, very clean, legible dial, as you can see here. Um, very legible. Uh, the date is also very legible in that white window. And everything is pretty neat. Uh, these are only the prototypes, of course, but the main watches are basically going to look like this, minus the changes I told you at the beginning. Uh, but anyway, to actually function the watch, you get a nice screw down crown. This one actually has a nice pop, a really nice pop to it, and a very strong pop. So you get self winding in the first position. One position, we can quick set the date. Final position is hacking, and you can set the time. Very nice pop. Go ahead and screw that back in with ease. Very grippy crowns, no uh, issues with that whatsoever. Now this screw down crown over here is to actually function the inner rotating 60 minute dive bezel. You can unscrew this here. And then we can of course rotate the bezel. You can put it wherever you want. And then screw it back down. And that's how you set your dive time bezel. And you should have no issues bumping or anything because you can't really bump the crown because it's screwed down. Nothing's going to move. All in all, I think it's a very nice looking watch. It's a nice, it has very nice proportions. Uh, it fits very comfortable on the wrist. As you can see, it has a very custom, unique case design. It wears very slim on the wrist. And I think it looks really, really nice, very elegant. And obviously, it's a dive watch as well. As you can see here, the case is really, really thin. And it's just kind of, it's kind of like, I don't know, just with the lugs, the way it's uh, cut. It really wears flat on the wrist, and uh, it really can even fit under a cuff if you wanted it to, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, there's gonna, I'm not going to really do a loom shot. I'll throw up the picture because there's just C3 loom just on the markers and the hands. Um, but the actual production models are going to have uh, BGW9 and C3. Um, so yeah, their loom is always good, so there's no really need to worry about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to throw it on my 6.75 inch wrist. I'll show you how these proportions look. On my 6.75 inch wrist, the watch fits really, really flat on the wrist. If you can just look at that, how it sits on the wrist, it's really thin. Uh, it feels a lot less than 12 millimeters. Um, but yeah, definitely really nice, as you can see there. Uh, the bracelet doesn't pull hair or anything like that. bracelet is using pins, not screws. But for this price point, uh, that's definitely well expected. Um, I think a lot of the work went into the case and the case cut. As you can see here, it's not a homage case or anything like that. It's definitely a custom design, uh, which is very nice when, you know, a lot of micro brands just do kind of homage style watches. Um, this is something very different and it's something kind of rare because it's a super compressor style case uh, with two crowns, uh, which is kind of rare. I know some other brands uh, did watches like this. I think Baltic did one like this. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it's kind of rare. Not extremely rare, but it's definitely something different and something unique to have in your collection. And it's a, it's a 200 meter dive watch you can take swimming in the pool in the ocean and shallow diving. Um, but yeah, I'm going to throw the blue one on my wrist. I'll show you how that one looks. There is the blue model on my 6.5 inch wrist. And as you can see, it fits the same. It's the same watch. It just has a blue dial. Um, but yeah, very nice. As you can see, obviously with the light on it, you can see the air coating is definitely doing its job. You can really see the dial very clearly on this watch. And a dive watch should be legible, so uh, definitely something they got right there. Um, but yeah, also there is going to be some straps. I'm going to go ahead and show you the straps. I believe there's going to be a couple straps, uh, stretch goal, 
and then one you can add on if you want to, I believe for $17. So here in front of you is the custom Oceanica seatbelt band, as you can see here. Um, it's signed with the little logo, polished stainless steel hardware. You get that nice, strong material, nice double sealed holes. And this one I believe is $17 uh, for an add-on on the campaign, um, which is a really nice kind of luxurious style band, very nicely finished. If I can get you in there, I don't know if you can see it, but the little Oceanica logo is embossed there, uh, which is really cool. Now for a stretch goal at $20,000, uh, this is a stainless steel elastic uh, elastic strap, which is pretty cool. As you can see here, elastic, so basically it's really comfortable. Kind of conforms to your wrist there. You put it through, as you can see here. I've, and there we go. As you can see, it's an elastic strap, so it stretches to your wrist and it fits really nice. Uh, this is this is gonna be signed with the Oceanica logo as well. Uh, that's just a stretch goal. If they hit $20,000, each backer will get an elastic band to go with their watch, uh, which is really nice of them to do. So there you have it.